Hey guys, welcome back. So, here's my next quarantine book haul and this part th this is part 3 of my book haul that I bought during quarantine period online and some of these actually include books that were bought before the quarantine but I did not I wasn't able to get it and now they're back here sent with my other books because these were delivered to my boyfriend's place because I couldn't receive books that time. So finally, he was able to ship them out and I finally got them. So we are going to begin. First set, I got this back in March when I bought online from Shopee. It was more of a impulse buy because I was just browsing and then I saw it. And then I got these from the Bedelia shop. I'm gonna place the link down there. And some of these are secondhand, some of these are also brand new, and I highly recommend shopping as well from their shop. And let us begin. So our first book is Eleanor and Park, Eleanor, Eleanor, and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And I bought this because of the hype. A lot of people were recommending this book and they did enjoy it. So I thought like, hey, why not since I saw one on sale. And this book is set over the course of uh, one school year about two star-crossed lovers. And of course it talks about first love and how they try to make it work. So let's see how that goes. And I got this for only 200, am I right? No, I got this for only 250 pesos or like $5. And the original price of this is actually 425. It still has a price tag. And that is approximately $8.51. So with that in mind, since I only spent 250 pesos, I saved about 149 pesos or about $3.50. Next one. This one is used and this is Wonder by RJ Palacio. And this is about August Pullman, who was born with a facial difference, and he's, you know, he wants to live and be treated as a normal kid, but then he has struggles, especially with his new classmates. I got this again because of the hype, because this already has a movie, and I got this for about 150 pesos. The original price of this one fully booked is... 359 here but then when i checked the website it's already 388 and that's seven dollars 98 and i saved about 249 or four dollars and 98 cents next third book i was really curious with this one that's why i got it um this is out of my own curiosity because i haven't heard about this book ever from other people i don't know why so this is a thousand pieces of you a thousand pieces of you by claudia gray is about margaret who has world-renowned physicists as parents and they were known for their creation which talks about jumping from multiverses and then and then marguerite's father was murdered and the killer or paul escapes into another dimension and Margaret goes and finds him through different dimensions just to find her father's killer. On Amazon, oh here's price. I didn't find this on fully booked anyway. On fully booked this is 756 pesos and the price of this US price is 17.99 dollars. I got this for 300 pesos which is about six dollars so i technically saved about yeah i'll post it there later because i can't do the calculation right now with that big amount it's a monsters this one is wrapped again as well i think this is brand new 
So Little Monsters, I also bought this out of curiosity because I haven't heard anything about it. This is by Cara Thomas and based on what I read on Amazon, it's kind of like a Pretty Little Liars book where this girl moves into a new town and she doesn't trust anyone, especially the teenage girls around her. And I got this for only 360 pesos, but the original price from National Bookstore is 535 pesos and if i'm going to convert that that's about ten dollars and something i think yeah what is this what's in this envelope oh cute hi denise i hope you enjoy these reads thank you for your purchase and i got postcards from papa Maralfi. what's this cute Considering I do have a dog. Thank you. We have this set. Again, so for this set, this includes the book that I lent and the book that he bought me. So I'll bring them up first. Hotel by Wilkie Collins and I got this for only 39 pesos on books and mags before the quarantine period even began I just lent it because I haven't finished it and but based on what I've read so far I just went like one third I love the story and I'm looking forward to finishing it it's not really haunting haunting yet well up to where I got but it does set that atmosphere of being creepy and this is actually uh, tagged in Canadian dollars and UK pounds. It doesn't say anything in American dollars, so it might not be sold in other parts of the world. Maybe that's why we don't see it. But yes, this if this is like 10.99 Canadian dollars, we can say that that's about that's about 405.31 pesos. So with that in mind, I saved 366.31 pesos. Something that, this is something that my boyfriend got from, for me from Bookfellas. And this is Oroso Nakpil Malate by Louis Mar Gangkwanko. I think I pronounced it right. So this is written by a Filipino and this is about a medical student and HIV. So I haven't started on this, I just got it now. I don't know how much he bought it since he did just give it to me as a gift. So I'm not sure. But you guys can check out Bookfellas right below. I'm also putting the link. I also bought some books from them that I haven't had shipped yet. These two I got from the secondhand books group in Facebook. So these are almost brand new. If I'm not mistaken and I got them wrapped in cling wrap so the first one is go set a watchman by Harper Lee hardbound and I got this because I heard it was like a first draft or it was written before to kill a mockingbird so I got curious I haven't actually read to kill a mockingbird yet I want to read the actual copy but it's hard to find one that's not that expensive so I got this first and apparently this is about $27.99 or 1,399 pesos on Amazon. But I only got this for 260 pesos which gives me 1,139.50 peso savings or $29.79. That's huge for a hardbound book. That's really cheap. Also, again, another cheap buy from her is the Silkworm. I'm not really just a fan of this cover. I find it odd. But I got this because I heard it was crime. And I love crime. I love the suspense. The Silkworm is a book by Robert Galbraith about a private detective looking for a missing novelist. And this novelist was writing a manuscript about people he knew. So he tries to look into that more. The original price of this is $17.11 or about 
855.550 pesos and I got this only again for 260 pesos or five dollars and twenty cents and I got I saved about 595 pesos point fifty cents or eleven dollars point ninety one cents so now that's over here are the books that I got and we're gonna do a breakdown and a total amount of the original prices and the amount that I saved including their shipping fees so let's do it And thank you once again for sticking with me during this unwrapping session of my third quarantine book haul part. And it feels great every time I actually open a new package. And sometimes it's just like, I want to do a video already because I want to open it. And there you go. I'll be placing the link to the Bedelia shop on Shopee below. And thank you guys very much. Let me know which of these books that I have right now have you read and which of these are your favorites. And I'll see you soon on social media. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything as well as the bell for notifications on my new videos. I'll see you soon not just here on YouTube in my next video but also on my social media. Thank you!